Hello St. Louis Cardinals fans. Welcome to the channel. If you are a big fan, subscribe to the channel now. The Cardinals made headlines on Wednesday when they demoted highly acclaimed rookie Jordan Walker to AAA, but the transaction was about so much more than the 20-year-old sluggard needing to up his launch angle, lower his chase rate. Instead, what the Cardinals did by removing Walker temporarily from the MLB equation was send a not-so-subtle statement to the remaining group of Tyler O'Neill, Dylan Carlson, Lars Nutbar, and Alec Burleson. That statement goes something like this, now that there will be no more issues with rhythm and uncertain playing time, the group will need to consistently produce, or major upheaval could be coming in the not-so-distant future. If you don't want to miss the latest news, subscribe to this channel now because we are always attention to the latest news from St. Louis Cardinals. The outfielders are going to have to make the most of this and see what they can do, team president John Moziliak said ahead of Wednesday's loss to the Giants, the Cardinals' ninth in a 12-game span clearly when you look at it from the standpoint of, what have we done? It hasn't been working, so we do want to change some things up, we can get that right mix and guys can get into that rhythm and that regular type of playing time and see if that works. In the first test of that new strategy, not much worked at all on Wednesday. A starting outfield of Newt Barr, .222, Burleson, .232, and O'Neill, .253, went to combine 049. Further complicating matters, Nutbar and Burleson had confusion in the fifth inning over a ball hit into the right center field gap, and Nutbar had the baseball fall from his glove after fearing he was about to collide with Burleson. It was yet another defensive blunder for a Cardinals squad that has historically prided itself on refusing to give foes extra outs.